little Capricorn. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do them real quick and then I'm gonna do the um just start just reading and shit because my ass already late. Here we go. So Capricorn, what am I gonna do about Capricorn? Nothing now. Damn. Okay. Okay. So Capricorn, what do I feel about you? I really do this in a separate video. I should have just did it separate. Um, Capricorn, there's something about you going on a trip and maybe going to see somebody or somebody coming to see you. I feel like this may be a spur of the moment um, visit or whatever the hell. You may feel like you're getting yourself in trouble, but you're not. Okay. Oh, my phone going off. I'm so distracted. Okay, then um, Aquarius. I see you ripping curtains off the wall. So whatever the hell that means, okay? Maybe you should calm your ass down. Maybe you shouldn't be doing so much. Maybe you should go meditate or, or see a shrink or soak your feet or something because Aquarius, I think you might uh, flip out on somebody here in a minute, but I feel like it's something to do with you being fed up. I think that you will overcome whatever it is that's upsetting you Aquarius, but I still feel that it's something that is just the end, you just fed up, okay? So, no, I'm, I'm I'm Pisces now. So Pisces. Oh Lord, what is it? What I see you doing, Pisces, is like sitting in a mall and seeing somebody. You you see somebody that you know, but I see this person coming towards you, and it's like this person been trying not avoid you. Person, I wouldn't gonna say avoid you, but I'm gonna say this person been want to talk to you, and I feel like somebody's gonna come to you, Pisces, that was wanting to talk to you. No and didn't have the opportunity or was too afraid to, and now they're gonna approach you, okay? Aries. Aries, I see you hiding from somebody. <laughs> I don't know who you hiding from, for whatever reason you hiding from them, but something going on. And I think that you are Aries, you're avoiding the conversation. Whatever this conversation is about, you avoid it. So I think that if you avoid it long enough, you'll be able to get past it without being able to be in question. But, um, you just go run. <laughs> I think my advice for you, Aries, is for you to back up, is for you to run, is for you to get away from this conversation right now. Because I feel like you don't have the answers for whatever it is. That's going to be the major issue for you. So just, if you don't want to <laughs> like the plague, huh? Chill, let's kick back, and don't make no fast moves, Aries. Um, Taurus. Taurus, I feel like you're reevaluating some things. I think that you're being really quiet about what it is that you really want to do. You are in the middle of ready to break out of something. And then I see the bull like break out of the gate and damage a few people on the way out. So Taurus and this motherfucker is acting quiet, honey. Or are they, you know, giving you some clues that there may be a problem, honey, get out the way because it could get ugly. Gemini. Wait, Taurus Gemini. Yeah. Gemini. Okay, so Gemini. What I see, Gemini, is the word choice. So I feel like you're going to be going back and forth with yourself about something, which makes complete sense being a, Taurus, a Gemini. I feel like there may be something that you're going to drop. I think you may drop this thing. Okay. So, mm, okay, um, Cancer. Okay. 
Cancer, I think that you're going to be, what I see you doing is resting. Because I see somebody like getting in the bed, like fluffing pillow and just laying down. So I feel like something with you, Cancer, you feel like you either need a break from something or somebody or a situation. And I feel like you're going to get a rest away from something or maybe you've been like really stressing about some shit and you're finally going to just be able to get back and relax. Now why you got called towards this asshole? <laughs> okay. Leo. Leo, I heard you saying that something is just fucking impossible. Maybe it's somebody that you're dealing with and you feel like they're just impossible. They're just too damn much. Well, if they're just too damn much, then you need to um, give them the boot or take a break from somebody. I feel like you may be pulling back from someone slowly, kind of like wean them out. Leo, I feel like you're going to, okay. So I see, Leo, you're going to be self-nurturing, all right? Do that. Virgo. Virgo, what I see you doing is, I see the words, it's like, <clears throat> you see two people arguing and fighting, and you stand back and you just watch it, and you think about all the peace that you have in your life. So whatever the hell it is is going on around you, and you're just watching the chaos unfold before your very eyes. Like, hey, damn. I see Virgo or somebody like walk out of the store and see some people fighting. And just like, whoa, I am I was this close to getting involved in that, but I di it didn't happen. So maybe you're dealing with somebody who is talking to somebody else or maybe a situation, but something about that, okay? <clears throat> Libra. Leo. I mean, Leo, Virgo, Libra. Yeah. I think I'm good. Okay, Libra. <laughs> Libra, I feel like you're trying to make a change, but I feel like your change is, I'm not gonna say it's insincere, but I'm gonna say, I feel like you're trying to make a change. The change is, it's really hard for you. You feel like you're going up a, up a hill. You can turn the corner with it, but you just have to stick with it. So it could be a relationship you wanna get out of or whatever the hell is going on, but, <laughs> hey Nikki, but I think that, um corner and it's getting difficult for you but it's just like somebody going up a hill and it's a fucking hill you know what i mean but you're determined to get to the top there's some kind of transformation about yourself so good luck with that scorpio scorpio what i hear is peace is peace and i'm gonna have it hell Okay, so Scorpio, I feel like you are, okay, then I see you, Scorpio, like cutting out these, pull out of paper, you know how you cut, you fold the paper and you cut out a bunch of, so I feel like what it is is you're trying to create this joy that you have, but I still feel like there's something else about you that is underlying that isn't feeling as good as you thought it would feel. Maybe you're trying to create a world for yourself that's not real, or you feel like someone else is trying to put you into some kind of that you don't want to be in, or you're just you ready to bust out the gate on what it is that you're tired of faking. But okay, Scorpio, <laughs> Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I don't know if you ever saw that meme when people were like, throw the papers up in the air and like, it's Friday, fuck everybody. So I feel like you're going to be happy though, Sagittarius, about what it is that you're doing. Okay, so what I hear, Sag, is that you're letting go of a responsibility that's not yours anymore. You don't have to deal with it. It's just like you get started on something and you don't have to do it no more. It's like, whoo, thank goodness, I'm done. So let's get into it, y'all. I probably did it in a separate video, but you know. Hey, cousin. <laughs> My favorite Mexican cousin. 
So let's go with um, I'm trying to read. Because it's such it's on such a delay. I like talk and then I hear myself talking. So then I'm trying to like just you know. This has been hello from America. Okay, y'all. So let's see. Okay, so Jennifer, with this thing you say is he cheating on you? I'm gonna say idea. I feel like there has been some type of indiscretion with this cat. I think that I feel like he's not a bad person, but I just feel like he is somebody who is, I'm gonna say not to be trusted. I'm just gonna fucking say it because that's what I feel. I think you could like, now I ain't gonna say intervene, but I'm gonna say, I want to say that you probably are going to intervene somehow and like stop this shit from happening. Not that you got like right jumping down or nothing. I just mean like a conversation to help this thing out. Okay, so let's see. You taking how you get them? You ain't picky, <laughs> girl. So let's see. So Vima, you wanna know? He says it's been a while. We get married. Damn it, that went by fast as fuck. Shit again, or copy and paste. Um, soon. I feel like the next three months ago, you months or so, you may be moving. Okay, whoever asked that. So, um. Y'all asses is pounding these questions out. <laughs> hey, hey, DJ. Okay, this is getting out of hand. Um, uh, is your Virgo ex ever coming back? Virgos are disappearing. Virgos have been, uh, or uh, Virgos have been, or. Kidnapped by aliens, okay? <laughs> Virgos kidnap, honey. They ain't come back, all right? No, but that Virgo, mm, it might be shit months before you see this Virgo or deal with this Virgo. Something like that. Because that Virgo is on some ridiculous. <clears throat> Boyfriend coming back. Something about you in three months with this person, okay? So you may hear from him in three months or it, it's some kind of communication. You'll find out something about him within between now and the next three months, I feel. So let's see. Should you go to college? Hell yeah, you should go to college. But, you know, these days I really feel with the college thing. I mean, I've done it, you know. So I feel like the college thing, if you don't go to school, go for something that you can come out and work for yourself and you ain't gotta beg nobody for a job, okay? Keep that shit in mind. <laughs> the cancer man, will you ever move forward with this guy? Okay, um, he full of shit, okay? I'm fast, okay? I'm just gonna, he full of shit. Shit, girl, I feel like he's just dragging on and dragging on. Ain't nobody kind of time for that kind of shit, okay? We don't live forever, okay? In this body, give yourself a time limit. How long you gonna put it with his shit? And give him the boot. You know what I'm gonna say? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Cancers, I don't think cancers are crazy. <laughs> I don't think they're crazy. I feel like they are slow as fuck. I mean, people say horses are slow, but I think cancers are so ridiculous on that. A lot. You know, so. So let's see. 
Tiffany, bas blast from the past. Okay, hey, Tiffany G, that's my dog. Okay, so Tiff, what should you do about this person? Say this shit on the air. I'm playing Tiff. You know what, girl? I would see what, you know, can go on. And then as soon as he's, I mean, I would, you know, kick you with him, whatever. And if he say the wrong shit, then that'd be the last time he spent time with me, period. Ain't nobody. <laughs> so I would say maybe you can give him a, <laughs> maybe you can give him a chance, Tiff. But um, the farm on his ass. I feel like he may dip again and then come back, okay? So all that. <laughs> hey. Y'all, these questions are going super fast and you know. <laughs> so I can't see all of them. So let's see. Soulmate Scorpio question. Who was that? Lisa, did he cheat? Nice short question there. Because it's really hard to read them because y'all going so fast. Um, did he cheat? I feel like he cheated in the past, but I don't feel like it was like a full cheat. It may have been something like, you know, some you know. So I don't think it was like a full like thing, but I feel like he may have done something or he talked to somebody, okay? to him so i can't be on his side but i'm just saying it wasn't nothing to him if he if that's what he did okay i'm in your life vanessa the phoenix i feel like um part of the reason why you're not getting anybody is because i feel like you're not ready for nobody when i say that i mean you ain't putting it out there honey not that you gotta advertise but you know what i'm saying you gotta be available or you know i ain't gonna knock on your dough i always tell people that Let's see Y'all going fast, okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, Carrie Martin. Okay, so you and the cap. Thinking about bowing out the relationship, I feel like the cap is um like did, but feeling funny about their life in general, I don't think has anything to do with you. And I feel like you're not sure about what it is they really want to do. And so they're just like up in the air and they're feeling funny about having a relationship, period. So maybe you should have a talk with this Capricorn that you're dealing with, Carrie, and tell what you think needs to be done or if there's an issue. Because if there's an issue and he's going to act funny, then y'all might as well break up because ain't nobody got time for that kind of shit. You know, we grown. Nola, Gemini is coming back. Um, you may hear from that Gemini X, but I don't know why I see something about six or June. I feel like it may be June before you hear about this at this Gemini. Okay. So um Okay, so the Taurus care about the baby. I feel like the Taurus cares about the baby. The Taurus is just being lazy right now. That particular Taurus, okay. You can't do music. You gotta get your ass up out of that shit. Period. You know, kind of private. You know, so I don't show everything about my damn life because why would I? You know what I mean? Just like when people like do videos and shit like that, like they be like in their rooms or like. How can you show your bed? <laughs> like, you know, or how you show your bathroom or how you in the kids room on video. You know what I mean? I'm funny like that, but then it's like that, like I can't like, that makes me like, so y'all you know, I mean, Pisces, Virgo, Libra. I mean, you know, and I got Pluto in the first house and I ain't with all that. You see what you're supposed to see, you know what I mean? So if you're gonna do music, you gotta get that ass out there, okay? So you gotta swallow that shy shit and you know flush it down the toilet for real. 
Katrina, I feel like Leo's contention intentions are to see what can go on first and then decide what um, they want to go on later on. But I don't feel like they want something initially right now, like an initial relationship, okay? Let's see. <laughs> oh my God, Demi Green. <laughs> say that girl i know what you're saying and it's probably part of that sagittarius um that saturn sitting on your son honey that's probably part of your issue and whatever it is you have to work out about that concerning your love life is what you got to do but i'll talk to you about that day um got people asking about twin flames Y'all want me to go back into that shit again? Let's do it. There's more than one person for you. Trust me. Believe that. There's more than one person for you out here. Okay. Okay. Interested in a cap, a, a, a cap of Pisces and a Libra, honey? Depends on what you want. If you want stability, go for the cat. But you may not get much emotion. If you want, if you want somebody to breathe down your damn neck and shit and be with you every moment. And then you, I mean, I feel like the Pisces would be easier to read because the Pisces, you'll know what they really feel in based on how they act. So the Libra, you'll never know how the fuck he acting because he gonna be acting all kind of ways. He'd be smiling in your face and be mad as hell. You never know. <laughs> mm. Um, thank you. Is he worth, is the Pisces worth keeping? I feel like the Pisces that you're dealing with right now needs to get their shit together and, and, you know, get it going because I feel like they have way, I ain't gonna say they full of shit, but I'm gonna say they could be doing more than they're doing now. This is worth keeping. And I can't really see your name because it's so fast, but, um, and then see if he fucks up. Left a Libra. Okay, yeah, you understand. Um, Chanel, I think that you may move next year. It may be early June, perhaps, and you might find somebody in your neighborhood when you move, okay? Mary. Mary T. Um, I didn't see the whole thing, but somebody said something. I want to know if somebody was going to um, fly out and see them. Is he going to come? I think you said a cap. Um, but I feel like this person may get busy and may, it may be a delay in this visit. For some reason, he's going to come up with some kind of excuse, some kind of way. <laughs> like I was trying to read it, it disappeared. Like what? Uh, I don't want to, you know. So let's see. Um, <laughs> um, new love, milk money, X. I see something about March for you, milk money X. Okay, when it comes down to love, it could happen before then, but you know. Oh. I see a couple people I know here. Everybody going so fast, though. Um, let me see. Is your Pisces lying? I feel like your Pisces, whoever you are, who dealing with all these Pisces around here, y'all? I feel like the Pisces you're dealing with is making a lot of excuses. You want to know if that person is lying? I'm going to say they, if they ain't lying, they're about to be lying because I feel like they're making a lot of excuses on why they're not talking to you, okay? Um, let me see. Pisces versus Pisces relationship. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Like is your ex boyfriend on BS or is he real? Are you for real? I feel like your your ex is trying to figure out where your head at, and therefore that way he'll make a decision about what he wants to do. But I feel like it's more like him trying to figure out what it is he can get away with, even though he do care about you. And I think that he's just trying to test you out, see what you're gonna do. Let's see. You and Aquarius get married. There's a possibility for a marriage, but I don't think it's going to be that tight. Like, I don't see it as being something that's, and I feel like it could be some bumps in that road. It might be a long time before this person want to get married. So, I mean, you want to waste, you know, six years of your life with him, then, you know, do you. Um, so you let go of the cancer? You think he's playing with you? He's lying that he's married? You a Taurus? Um, Taurus has been having some issues with love lately. So, but I feel like this cancer, somebody's not telling you to you, right? I feel like that cancer is lying to you, and he may have a separate relationship, and I think that's some bullshit, okay? So if somebody's not keeping it real with you, if they ain't got no time to spend with you, and they this, this, and this, then you might drop their ass, okay? For real. They full of shit. Drop them. If you really want something, you're going to go for it. Do back. So if they got all these excuses and shit, that's just sign on the wall, honey. A good bath. Pisces X came back. Should you give him another chance? Give his ass a um, probationary period, honey. That's what you give him. Because I feel like he has good intentions, but I don't think he can fight himself on, on the act right. Because he's wrong. Oh, boy. Let's see. Um, somebody asked about a Taurus something cuss. Should you wait it out? Don't you ever fucking wait on no damn body, okay? Ever. Now, if you having a dry spell, honey, if it's a love drought around here, Beyonce. If it's a love drought around here, okay, I get it. I'm not dating people and shit because you wait on one motherfucker. Don't you ever damn do that. And I tell everybody that all the time. Don't you dare wait on no mom, one motherfucker, okay? I'm sorry. Do do. Oh, man, okay. Would a Taurus man ever reveal his true feelings? <laughs> Good luck with that. The Taurus man, will he ever reveal his feelings? I mean, don't hold your breath. I feel like he will show what he feels more than he's gonna tell how he feels. It would be more like a um, annual versus how he really feels. End up in the paint. <laughs> Girl. The Libra getting in the paint and rolling around in the paint. In the paint. I think the Libra sees it as almost not impossible, but too much work. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Okay. I didn't get this, y'all. Is divorce gonna go smoothly? Something with divorce gonna be like a surprise or something that your your spouse may think it's a surprise to you but you're gonna hear about it before and i feel like you're gonna be on top of this game just keep your good ears open and your good eye open honey okay let's see pull a card for you and your cancer man all i got next to me is this love mafia so let's just see you and your cancer man love mafia yeah, boom. Lay low. Hunty. I ain't gonna be pulling, pulling cards, y'all, just so y'all know. But she wanted me to pull a card for her and her cancer man, and that's just it, and there it was. Lay low, girl. Um, Sit and listen to what he gotta say. 
or did he do what he say? That's what I feel about that, Layla. Okay. Um, okay. Will your Pisces, your will your Pisces X come back? You're a Cancer. Um, Pisces has been watching you, and I feel like there is some conversation and trying to have with you because I feel like they're nervous about the outcome. So maybe if you. Think about it, you sleep on it, you can possibly Pisces, but I feel like the Pisces is kind of nervous about saying something to you. What is with people in Pisces tonight? <laughs> what is with y'all in Pisces tonight? Y'all got issues, okay? A lot of Pisces out here, I see. Damn it, where'd it go? Oh, I'm trying to read it, it disappears, okay? Um... Oh, Keno. Yes, I see April. Is he cheating with his ex-wife? Somebody asked. I saw that. I think he's still seeing her and talking to her because I see two people and I see one person in a car, another person in another car. So I feel like they may be meeting and speaking, okay? Just so you know, all right? Uh, let's see what else. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, Mary or Mari, when is the uh, whoever coming back? <laughs> mm. I see something about April, May for that. You want to know if that person was coming back? You think you said cancer, Pisces. the business advice what's the question for the business advice i hope i see it next time i wonder well the cancer find love let's see i feel like you oh the cancer whoever thinks you are not will find love but i feel like you're gonna find it closer than you think Whatever that means. Um, somebody said, what's up with my lion cancer X? I think that was somebody I know, and I'm not sure. Um, your cancer lion X is somewhere lying in somebody else, straight up. I ain't even trying to be funny. <laughs> what does your Gemini feel about you? Your Gemini is undecided about what they want to do about you. I feel like your Gemini is. <laughs> I feel, I'm trying to read. I feel like your Gemini is standing in the middle of the road and trying to decide which way to go. Whether they want to get hit by a truck, which would probably be love to me, or they want to run off. So I feel like they're kind of like straddling the decision right now. Okay. Hello. Okay. Any new interests coming your way? For some reason, I see um, people like blocked by this invisible wall. So I'm kind of feeling like what that means is that energetically, either you're holding on to somebody else and you're blocking everybody else, or whatever the fuck you doing, girl. Because you know me, I know you. Whatever it is that you're doing, you are holding yourself back. You're holding people back from you. Because I see you standing there and I see people coming towards you. There's like this glass wall between you and them and they can't get to you like they want to. You figure that one out. <laughs> you know what you're doing. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bahrain, absolutely. Hi, Bahrain. It's like I'm playing. Good luck. Okay, so are you gonna get married? I talk about some marriage coming up for you in the next six months or so in Bahrain. Energy, true love, coming soon. What I see you doing is like dressing yourself up and going out. So I'm going to say, get your ass off the house. Because like I tell everybody, he ain't going to knock on your down. But I feel like it's possible for you, okay? So just know that. Hello, Amethyst Moon. 
Okay, advice biz business partnership, Leo and somebody else. Um, records for your business. Make sure you and this partnership, I kind of feel like what you should do is keep this um, person, but I feel like you should keep your records separate from theirs because for some reason they do some shady shit and may have y'all in a bad situation, but however it goes, they get themselves in trouble, but not you. So keep double records, okay? Just in case that happens for you, okay? From college, I think that she may graduate from college, but I think she's gonna be, before she get her ass out of there, before she realizes what the fuck she need to do. But I think that she'll be, I think she'll graduate, okay? Oh, I see Heather. Okay, so you said it's the second Leo to? Why do I see these two other people, Heather? What is that about? Mm. Maybe some fun with the Leo, but just uh, some about buy your time, okay? About that Leo, okay? When is your cat going to come visit you in New York? I think I said this earlier. Like with that Capricorn coming to New York, I feel like there's going to be a delay in this visit. I think that you something may happen like either your capricorn get delayed or you get delayed or both y'all get delayed in some kind of way but i feel like the trip may happen but i think it's going to be longer than you thought your midheaven is the top of your chart your your uh 10th house your working status house to the peace dealer for that um Maybe he has a video on, on um, Mid Heavens, but YouTube, go to the, P the Peace Dealer and give you a lot of information on the um, Mid Heavens, okay? I'm a fat astrologer. Um, mm, would a business sell before Christmas? I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. Um, you may get an offer, but I see somebody either being disappointed about them not being able to afford what it is that you're wanting for it. But I feel like if somebody comes to you and they tell you they can't afford your business, hold out because I think somebody else may come and just grab it from you, okay, after New Year's. But it, by all means, don't wait for that, but I just feel like it's likely to happen, okay? So, but if you feel like you need that money and they kind of hesitate and they can't afford it, whatever, if you want to take the deal, then take the deal. But if if it if you think that something may come better, you just can't take their price that they want to give you, then don't take it, you know, away from somebody else. Okay. Ooh, the Sagittarius surfer guy. I can see a lot of shit about him. There's probably more than PG. But I'm gonna say that he got some with him and a fight Something like that that ain't what i'm saying like he need to get his shit together like he's kind of immature when it comes on his relationship so i mean he might be good for you know he he but yeah job in france or uk the next year the job in france or uk that you are you're looking for i feel like there's something that you're missing about this kind of application process are you trying to do it i think that there's um do something extra now trying to get this job. I, what I see you doing is looking at one particular place or two different places, and it's another place that you need to be hidden on. So I hope that makes sense to you. So it's possible for that job. So Rita, you want to X or new love? I say both, Rita. <laughs> Both, girl. Answers intentions for you, Veronica. Oh, I'm gonna say exactly what I hear. I hear something about cancer want to hit it and quit it, but I think that hitting and quitting may turn into you getting to a relationship with this person later. That's about. By all means, do you, Google. 
Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. First or second, Leo. <laughs> Welcome. Your Scorpio X. Scorpio X is tormented about a lot of different things. I don't know if something about education with this person, so I don't know if you're trying to go to school or whatever the fuck going on with that. But I think that there is some discrepancies with this Scorpio X that can be a non-emotional and not moving on things the right way. Like they they do dumb shit. A lot of things fall apart for this person. Okay. Girl. The promotion. So, Olivia, uh, I feel like um, with the promotion thing, I see two people being promoted. So, I don't know what that's about. So, maybe you, you'll think that it's just like a one person job and you turn on this two people and you like, bitch. But then, you know, a hey, jump up, shit, take it. You know what I mean? So, I it's a possibility you'll get that. People. Okay. Let's see. Is your Aquarius coming back? Aquarius, okay. So what I see your Aquarius doing is using two sticks. I see two sticks being used up and both of them break. And then that Aquarius may come back to you. So I don't know if your Aquarius is dealing with two other people or being in two situations or whatever the fuck that means. But I just see this person like for some kind of tool and they get worn out and you can't use them no more kind of like starting a fire so maybe what's going on is he's like trying to start a fire with stick and then it's breaking and then he's like wait a minute i gotta go back to her or him whatever you know what i mean so uh what's it called if he on some good shit then that's good but you know if he on some bullshit give him the boot okay let's see a Capricorn. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just saw I just saw what you wrote, Sin. Damn, you made me laugh, man. You made me fucking forget the question. <laughs> Paola. I love that name. Um you send you fuck me up, man. <laughs> Damn. It was the fuck I was I just read. I'm so sick of your ass. <laughs> Okay, um, damn, I was saying, down for it. Uh, I think she is, but I don't know why she's trying to play hard to get because this is a whole new fucking life out here, bitch. Do or don't, you know what I mean? Shit on the shit, get off the pot. <laughs> it's 2016. Okay. <laughs> okay, launching the business, good to go. Um, Amy. Um, I feel like uh, first thing you do about your launching your new business, honey, is you need to check the astrology on that shit, okay? And make sure the astrology is right. And depending on your chart, I mean, you know. So I'm going to say go to the peace dealer so you can look at your chart. If you don't know what you're doing, what time is good for you. Timey him. You go to the peace dealer or, or Nico from Scarlet Moon. Somebody like that to get your business looked at astro astrologically because astrology like okay so okay so which one now trina welcome okay about your son i think he thinks about your son but i think he tries not to think about it when i say that he feels guilty about some things so i think it's one of those things you try to avoid what you really feel in and i think that's what's going on with his ass he need to get his life together did capricorn use you to get his ex-wife back i think he knew that he was gonna get his ex-wife back I feel like he may try to leave her and come back to you, which is some bullshit. But you do what you gotta do. Let's see. Wife, honey. 
get back with your ex. You could back get back with the ex, but I think that you may, by the time it's time to get back with them or her communication with this person, you may not want their ass. That happens a lot, but just so you know. So there may be some touch and go with you and that ex, the Ali ex, okay? Mm -hmm. Um. Do do do. <laughs> yeah, Janie. Uh, let's see. Can you trust the Capricorn or the Cancer man? People can't trust their own damn self. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell you to just trust people. That's my Pluto talking, <laughs> probably. I ain't gonna tell you, just trust some damn body. You know what I mean? Self, shit. Plenty of times in my life, I was like, fuck out of this person. You know what I mean? So you have to, to like, don't trust, don't just trust somebody. Watch what the fuck they doing. They judge their ass on what the fuck they're doing, okay? say one's better than the other but the capricorn comes to mind so i'm gonna say maybe the capricorn's better than the cancer in this instance um nicole oh with the Corp oh, scorpio stay with his current partner his or her current partner I heard that that relationship with the Scorpio, you want to know about him with the ex? Um, I see that has a sale by date, that relationship. So I'm going to say no, Heather, because I see sale by date. How do you want Pisces? Job. It's our season. What? <laughs> Everybody want a Pisces now? This is great. So let's see. Let's go here. Hold up. Up, hold, up, hold, up. Y'all know what I'm about to do. Something. <laughs> so anyway, y'all. Um, no. Oh, he don't claim his child. Oh, shame on him. Mm. Okay, so. So will the Taurus come back for a baby? What does that mean? Yeah, I'm trying to do something. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at something. I'm not. I'm. I'm purposely being quiet right now. Hold up. Trust the cancer. And damn, that's harsh. Okay, so hold up. Oh, stop for a minute. Stop for a minute, y'all. Stop typing for a minute. Hold up.
find something. Oh. One second. <sighs> One second. Hold up, y'all. I'm just um Put something right fast, okay? Tripping. So hold up. Create. Okay. Okay. I went too far. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. One more second, y'all. Hold up. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. It's taking a minute. Well, this is taking longer than I thought. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hold up. <laughs> Look here. Down to the bottom comments. I think I'm back down the bottom now. So, I'll stop typing. Y'all can type now. Okay, let's keep going. So, what I reason why I had y'all stop is I had some addict, I guess, on here talking religious. I don't do that shit. You don't come over here talking about religion. You ain't gonna alienate nobody over here. If you want to talk about religion, you get you a channel and you get you a button, honey, and you click it and you can talk about it all you want. But you don't come over here and talk about religion. This is not a religious channel. We don't talk about shit pertaining to religion because I do not exclude people according to what their beliefs are because that ain't my damn business, okay? And it ain't none of y'all's, okay? Talk. <laughs> don't play that shit. Anyway. So let's see, y'all. Um, <laughs> okay. Sag intentions towards you, Virgo. Your Sagittarius is feeling more free than you think. I feel like your Sagittarius, so this is for the Virgo. This is more centered towards um, loosey goosey. I don't think they want anything that's super tight right now. So, um, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Girl, Kim, you talking about why would your cap say they ghost and then get ghost, honey? They do that. And but now, if he disappeared on your ass, then to hell with him, honey. Put some nails in the dough. Don't let his ass come back. He disappeared. Goodbye. Don't, you know. 
the kind of things that I used to love when somebody disappear and then you don't block your number or nothing and the day they text you, you back, <laughs> no answer. So let's see. Um, 15 more minutes because I really have to go somewhere tonight. I'm really, I'm going somewhere tonight. Somebody is on Pisces and Virgo tonight and Taurus. Wow. New Pisces, Aries, love will it last? Um, it's totally possible it could last if the Aries stays. If the Aries stays in the middle, you know what I mean? Don't go too damn far. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, Jennifer, I don't play that shit. You can't come over here with that. Me, like, I don't do rant videos. I don't act a fool. I don't do none of that. If you want to talk about your agenda, you talk about your agenda over there. It's plenty of religious channels and people preaching to themselves and the choir. Don't come over here because it ain't about that. You know what I mean? I don't play that shit. Pisces, okay? It's not, we gonna spam with religious bullshit. No, no, hunty. Not over here. Block to a life. Okay, so my Leo for me. What do you mean is your Leo for you? Are you already dealing with this Leo? Or I see the Leo like turning away. So I feel like turning away and then looking back. So there could be some interaction between you and this Leo, back and forth, whatever, but. So, Trina, your Aries man's intentions, um, where it goes, but I just see this person trying to put their finger down on something and it keeps moving. But I see it's a man's hand on a woman. So maybe he feels like he ain't got you in the right spot or something, but yeah. Connect with old friends after all that BS went down. Give it some time. You want to know if you connect with your friends after shit goes down, calms down. Give it some time. And if it's too long for you, maybe reach out to the most, you know, the nicest person. So when you get pregnant with twins, your next pregnancy, what I see is two kids like standing there tapping their feet. So whatever this delay is, whatever this situation is that you waiting to have kids, if you're doing like in vitro or whatever the fuck is going on, I do see kids are waiting for you, but I see, and I see the ones in there tapping their feet. So I don't know if that means anything to you, whatever. So, so, oh shit, clicking around, shit around. Oh Lord. Um, this is so ridiculous. Um, let's see. Everybody want to know about a Virgo. Somebody said something about Pisces Taurus connection. True or through? <laughs> it's going to be trying, I think, with this Pisces Taurus thing. It's going to be a trying relationship. It's going to be a hard time getting together and something. But I think of the Pisces and Taurus that you're mentioning, whether it's you or somebody else get together, I think it'd be, it can be for long term, just so you know. Damn. 
No, maybe the screen ain't froze. Maybe I was just standing in one spot. Maybe I was doing a mannequin challenge. I appreciate. What you mean, your friend, the sad, your friend? What does that mean, girl? Saying. <laughs> You're welcome, Kim. Um, CC, I think the, the phone, you said the phone interview or whatever. I just feel like a bunch of people got to make a decision on that. So it might be a long fuck time. You know, I just feel like it's more than one person going to do. Gina, Gina Collins, how are you? <laughs> Girl. Okay, um, let's see, y'all. Will it be more than a friendship between you and your Taurus? I think your Taurus may be eyeballing you, and I don't know if your Taurus is ready to make a move, but I think that when your Taurus is ready to make a move, that you're probably going to get it faster than you thought, honey. Will Leo and you be together? Okay, so I, you're welcome, Cece. Leo, um, you and Leo are gonna be together. I think that, I know, ain't it Sanchez? It is live up in here. Girl, I can't even keep up with these as long as night. Okay, <laughs> so, okay. I was gonna say, this is terrible. Okay. <laughs> Next time, y'all, I'm doing this shit on, on uh, Facebook. <laughs> Damn, I couldn't even think. I'm doing it on Facebook next time. I control, okay? I might do a Periscope, but back to the reading. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, 10 more minutes here, y'all. Pisces, when the cap coming back? When the cap coming back? something about april about that cap you may hear something okay so it might between be between now and then so you know your soulmate asia girl you got more than one i always say that but i feel like it's more than one person asia am i shaking the table y'all i think i am Will you die alone, child? I don't think so. Uh, is Aerie for me or Pisces a player or work it out with a Scorpio? Miss Stelfowl. The Scorpio stands out to me. So, I mean, by all means, try to work it out, but if it's some bullshit, don't put up with it. Um, Aries coming back. I feel like if you if you turn if your Aries turns their attention back to you, that they they'll come back towards you. But I feel like for some reason your Aries is distracted. Is your Libra dangerous? No, but I feel like your Libra can be threatening, but I'm not gonna say this person is dangerous, but obviously, you know, I ain't God, a Buddha, a Krishna, a Muhammad, or nobody, but um, always have, you know, your guard on something, but um, I'm gonna say no, this person isn't dangerous, but, dark and self-centered I will say that what's going on with your Pisces Barb 
I feel like your Pisces Barb is confused about some things. I see somebody's shaking her hair really fast, like going back and forth, like really fast about um, trying to make their mind up about something. It just seems like they're stuck in a rut. You're welcome, Deb. A rut or some shit like that. So, so your 27 year old Pisces. Get ready for that Saturn return if you ain't in it already. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Honey. I, my Saturn return was... Ugh. Anyway. So. Um, you're welcome. Oh. Don't like you because they Chinese and you black? Well, it look like they got a damn problem. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is out here. <laughs> so let's see. Um, Aries Nation. But I see you having to steer it into one some kind of way. You know what I mean? Be happy. Make it happen for yourself. I see like when you, I kind of feel like when you, when you um, make yourself happy, what will happen is, is that you will shake everything off and free, honey. That's what I see about that. Mm. <laughs> Okay. For your highest good. I feel like the Capricorn feels like you're kind of, I'm not going to say in La La Land, but you're on a different angle than they are. You're on some kind of different plane, but then it doesn't make sense you say you're a Pisces. So Capricorn and Pisces, as far as that goes, I would think that it's um, something that you may feel is mismatched, but it's really not. But they may see things, you know, a little more grounded than you. So I'm going to say it may work out between you and the Capricorn. As long as you don't get too lost in Pisces and they face, because you can get lost in Pisces all damn day, okay? Be yourself by all means, okay? Because faking it is just a bigger, you know, faking it is just too much. But I feel like they can, um, they'll, they can adjust to you with that. Mm. Night bubbles. You gonna commit this month? No, I hear no. I feel this person for some reason feels pushed or um, pressed. I don't know if you say anything to them, but I just feel like this person feels it kind of, yeah, we can talk career. For your Virgo and you reconcile. <sighs> what I said earlier. Those are being abducted, honey, by aliens at an alarming rate. Okay. They go, honey, they got sheets on, they cut the eye holes out, honey, and they floating around your house. You can't find Virgos these days. Granny, you want to know if he's found a new muse? I feel like um, this person is being preoccupied with something that they're writing. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe they're just preoccupied with their life. So I see this person sitting down with a notebook and like writing and shit. So I don't, I kind of feel like they're either making plans to do something or just so preoccupied with some other shit that they're doing. Okay. Yana. Yana, is you going to fix our lives on here, girl. Y'all need to go like my Facebook page because I swear to goodness, you're going to catch me more on Facebook than you is here on YouTube right now. You're going to catch me on YouTube, but will Northman commit? Northman is waiting until he gets a whole wall in front of him. Okay, Northman is waiting either get some kind of ultimatum or something else goes on, but I feel like he is um, 
And honey, I feel like he needs all kinds of excuses in order to sit his ass down. Well, if he needs excuses, then honey, uh, I mean, yeah, it might it might go well, but just be mindful that he may be. Married soon, Letitia. I hear for you, Letitia. Will you get married soon? What I hear somebody say is you need to listen to yourself and make better decisions when it comes to your relationship. I feel like there's somebody you may be ignoring or somebody that's coming up that you may ignore that may be good for you, so pay attention. Dennis Stahl. Okay, will your Libra male commit to you? Libra male, Danny is trying to decide whether to bail or not. That or he thinks that you're going to bail. It's something about his relationship that feels like it is either either committing or not being together. Danny, that if he's showing signs that you know he start lagging off and shit, give him the boot or just give kind of ease up on him. And if he um, gets closer, then you'll understand what he wants to do. Because I feel like he's kind of in between. Because I know that there's some there's some attraction between you and this person, and I feel like there's some emotion between you and this person, Danny. And I feel like. Sure. Stay or go from the way that he's acting. You'll know I'm gonna say the next two weeks or so, either you're gonna make a decision or he's gonna make a decision. So keep that in mind. Mm. First off, uh, Tierra. Do your child's father think you should contact him? Does he wish you would contact him? I mean, did you disappear? Because he should be uh, on the roll like motherfucking um, Uma Thurman um, uh, kill Bill to find you if he if you got his child. <laughs> well, I was raised, honey. I'm sorry, I can't explain it right now. Okay, so let's see. Can you trust Alvin? You may be able to trust Alvin a little bit, but you know, don't give him too much rope, honey, because I think that he's going to, if you give him too much, to hang himself, honey, dead. What? Let me see. What do you want to know about your career? Groovy. What is about the career? I got a couple minutes, y'all. I got to roll. Let's see. Um, Vanessa, there may be some contact between you and the Virgo, but I don't think it's going to be a comeback that soon. <laughs> Okay, it says Skype. Well, now my computer acting stupid. So, um, would you ask Kiara? Oh, Kiara, where you get your Pisces? What I see about you, Kiara, and this Pisces, I see this Pisces kind of tiptoeing to you. So he may be, you know, let's just think about the fish and how apprehensive that it may be. And I feel like he may move slowly towards you, but you're going to have to get them hints because I think this motherfucker going to be throwing hints like a uh, motherfucking juggling in circus, okay? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let's see. 
Um, Hmm. Let's see. You're welcome. So y'all, I'm gonna get up out of here because I have to go. I gotta be somewhere. And on my go to my Facebook page and like it because I might do another one of these on Facebook. Sunday. I might just pop on and do it. I know for sure I'm going to do it next week, but I'm going to try to do like five y'all. And it's better to get me on Facebook because it's like better on Facebook. It's like faster and all that shit on Facebook. So if I was you, I like it because I'll come on live y'all just anytime. Like boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? I have, I was on live. What was it last night? I on live i was on live last night y'all for like 45 minutes and shit so you catch me on there please just go like the facebook page y'all because i hate to disappoint people but yeah, i mean life hey i gotta do what you gotta do you know what i'm saying you can't just run yourself ragged out here but page y'all because i will be on there but i'm certainly gonna be on there the next couple of days I'm gonna say all that in the evening, but you never know because whenever I get a moment, I'll be like, "Yeah, let me go ahead and go live for a minute." All right, y'all. So. Could you stare should you go, Carmen? Cameron, I mean. Um, to that and you need to judge judge I feel like if you leave you'll be happier I feel like you stay you're going to learn some more lessons you decide oh thank you Mr. Silva yeah y'all I'll talk to y'all in a couple days if you're on my Facebook you definitely will see my ass okay like real talk you will see me all that good shit. And um face Facebook is better. I know, I know. Facebook is better for this. You know what I'm saying? So all right, y'all. Love and all that good shit. Be good to yourself. Respect yourself before you bother with a motherfucker, okay? Never hold back. Well, no. never hold back. I say. If it ain't fair, it ain't right, okay? If somebody's not being fair to you, the shit ain't right, and it's time to go. All right, let me stop. Right now, five get a good one. <laughs> All right, y'all, see you on Facebook.